Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna be going over um, having an issue with the Play Store pending issue. So if you don't know what that means, it's when you're on the Play Store and you're trying to download an app, instead of downloading and installing correctly, uh, sometimes what the Play Store can do is once you hit install, it just says pending, pending, keep spinning and spinning, and nothing actually happens and it just stays there forever. So in this video, we're going to be going over two methods to try and fix these issues. Uh, the first method is a little bit easier, it's a little bit simpler, um, so we're going to try and do that first. But uh, if the first method does not work for you, then I recommend that you move on to method two, which is a little bit more complex, um, but hopefully that should work for you. So we're gonna start with method one here, and what you wanna do is open the Play Store. Then you wanna tap on your profile, top right, and then go down to where it says settings. Then you wanna hit about, right there, and then hit uh, where it says Play Store version, you wanna click on that. And if your Google Play Store is out of date, it will give you a message that says, Google Play Store is out of date, you need to update, or something along the lines of that. You can see mine is up to date, so I'm not getting this message. But if it's out of date, you're going to want to make sure that you want to update this. Uh, after that, you want to go to where it says network preferences and then see where it says app download preference. You want to hit ask me every time, not over any network, not over Wi-Fi only. You want to hit ask me every time. Um, after that, you can go back and that's the end of method one. So to check if this works, just try and search for an app that you're trying to install. I'm just going to search Twitter and see if it works. Okay, and you can see it's starting to download. So I'm, I'm just gonna cancel that for now because I wanna continue with this video and go on to method two. Uh, but you can see if this is working for you, then that's the end of the video. But for those who it isn't working yet, what you wanna do is go into settings, scroll down on settings to where it says apps and notifications. And then in there, you see the number where it says see all 465 apps. Uh, you wanna do that for your phone. Hopefully it's not 465 like mine. Then what you wanna do is scroll down to where it says Google Play Services. Okay, so once you've gotten to Google Play Services, you just wanna open this up and see where it says uh, storage and cache. You wanna click on that right there. And the first thing you wanna do is hit the trash can icon that says clear cache. Then you wanna hit the other one that says clear storage. You might get this menu. You just wanna to go to the bottom and hit the button that says clear all data. And then hit the confirmation that says delete app data. So something might happen. You might go back to your home screen, um, something like that. That's totally normal. And what you just wanna do is go right back into the settings app because we got uh, a couple more things to do. So you just wanna do the exact same thing that you did before. Scroll down, go to apps and notifications, then see all however many apps you have click on that. And then instead of going to Google Play Services, you want to go to Google Play Store. Okay, there it is. And once I click on that, you want to do similar things. You just want to go into storage and cache, clear the cache, and then clear the storage, hit OK, confirm. And that's it. Um, that's not done yet. What you need to do is actually go back, um, just hit the back arrow once, and you'll see that you've got, uh, you're back on the Google Play Store thing. You wanna hit permissions. And if you've got any denied permissions, you can see I've got two denied permissions here, contacts and location. You just wanna make sure that those are allowed because uh, the idea is you want all of the permissions allowed in order for the apps to work properly. So I'm going to hit allow, and then allow only while using the app. That's the best I can do with location. And then once you're done with that, you want to go back, back, and then do the same thing, but instead of Google Play Store, Google Play Services. And then same thing, permissions, scroll down. And you can see I've got no permissions denied right now, but if you've got any permissions denied, you just want to make sure to allow all of those. So that is the end of method two. So assuming that worked for you, how you can check is go to the Play Store and try and download that app that you've been trying to download. So in this case, I'll just search Twitter again to show that it's working. I'm gonna hit install. And you can see it's starting to download. So I'm just gonna go back to my home screen. You can see the Twitter icon right there. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. So make sure that uh, you try first method one and see if that works for you. And then if it doesn't work for you, go on and try method two. If method one worked for you, great. 
Um, but if not, then make sure to do those both methods. All right, and if you're having any issues with um, the phone or anything regarding the Google Play Store pending issue, just make sure to let us know in the comments and we'll try and help you out. All right, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.